Recent polling reveals that Kamala Harris is gaining momentum, taking the lead in key battleground states and making significant inroads in traditionally conservative areas. While Donald Trump remains a strong contender, the increasing support for Harris suggests she is not just holding her position, but expanding her reach and paving the way for a broader victory. In this analysis, we will take a closer look at the polling data across all 50 states to see how the 2024 electoral landscape is unfolding in her favor. Let's start with the West Coast, where Harris is holding a steady advantage. In Oregon, she has a five-point lead. Moving down to California, Harris's home state and a Democratic stronghold, she has a commanding lead of 23.7 points over Trump in the latest polling. Her deep political connections in California, where she has served as both Attorney General and U.S. Senator, solidify the state's solid blue status, making it a cornerstone of her campaign. Washington state follows a similar pattern, with Harris leading Trump by 20 points, placing the state securely in the solid blue category. In Nevada, the race is much closer. Harris leads Trump by just 0.5 percent, making it one of the most competitive states in this election cycle. Biden narrowly won Nevada in 2020, and there have been some Republican gains, particularly after the election of a Republican governor. However, despite these developments, Nevada is expected to lean Democratic as of today. Now, let's continue with Arizona, a state that stands out as a major battleground. Despite Biden's win here in 2020, current polls show Trump leading Harris by 1.5 percent. Moving over to New Mexico, the situation looks more favorable for Harris. She currently leads by eight points, which is slightly less than Biden's 11-point victory in 2020. While Republicans have made some gains, particularly among Hispanic voters, New Mexico remains classified as likely blue, with Democrats hoping to expand their lead in the state as the election draws closer. In Colorado, a state that has been trending Democratic for several years, Harris is in a strong position with a 10-point lead over Trump. Biden's 13.5% margin of victory in 2020 further supports Colorado's status as a likely blue state in this election cycle. Next, we move to the central U.S., where Trump holds a commanding lead in several states. In Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming, Trump's margins range from 20 to 40 points, maintaining these states as solid red. Montana also leans heavily Republican, with Trump leading by close to 17 points. In Nebraska's second congressional district, however, Harris holds an 18-point lead, placing it in the likely Democratic category. The rest of Nebraska, as well as both Dakotas, remain solidly Republican, along with Kansas and Oklahoma. Trump currently leads by 6.6 percent, down from his nine-point victory in 2020. Although Harris's team has made Texas a focal point, the state is still classified as lean red, though Democrats hope to capitalize on changing demographics to make gains here in future elections. Meanwhile, in Alaska, Trump holds a solid lead as expected, while Harris enjoys strong support in Hawaii, a reliably Democratic state. Shifting focus to the Midwest, this region is critical for both campaigns. Harris needs to secure Minnesota, the home state of her running mate, and hold on to the key blue wall states of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. In Minnesota, Harris currently holds a six-point lead. In Iowa, Trump is favored to win, continuing his trend from 2016 and 2020, where he won by nine and eight points, respectively. Limited polling data between Harris and Trump places Iowa in the lean red category, leaving room for potential surprises as the campaign progresses. In Illinois, Harris is comfortably ahead of Trump by 18 points, according to the most recent polls, classifying the state as solid blue. Indiana, on the other hand, is expected to heavily favor Trump with a likely double-digit lead as it has in past elections. This places Indiana firmly in the likely red category. Turning to Ohio, traditionally a battleground state, Trump leads by 7.7 percent. Ohio and Iowa both shifted back to the Republican column after Trump's significant victories in 2016 and the re-election of Republican governors in both states in 2022 further solidifies their lean red status. Ohio remains a key state for Republicans, but it has become more difficult for Democrats to win here in recent years. This brings us to three pivotal states, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Harris will need to win all three to secure the 270 electoral votes needed for victory. In Wisconsin, the race is incredibly close, with Harris holding a narrow 0.7% lead in the polling average. However, polling errors in the past suggest this race is far from predictable. 
Biden was expected to win Wisconsin by nearly seven points in 2020, but his margin of victory was just 0.7 percent. As a result, Wisconsin remains a true toss-up, leaning slightly toward Harris but classified as a tilt state. In Michigan, Harris leads by 0.87 percent, making it one of the most competitive states in this election. Some outlets have reported the race is tied, but the overall polling average suggests a slight tilt toward Harris. Michigan is one of the key states to watch, as it is currently leaning Democratic but remains highly contested. The Northeast offers solid ground for Harris with several states firmly in the Democratic column. Vermont, Connecticut, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. are all safely blue. New Jersey is also leaning Democratic, despite recent controversies such as the corruption scandal involving Senator Bob Menendez. In New York, Harris holds a 14-point lead over Trump, a noticeable drop from Biden's 23-point margin in 2020. If the margin falls below 15 percent, it would be the narrowest Democratic win in New York since 1988. For now, New York remains solid blue, but the shrinking gap could be a sign of vulnerability in future elections. New Hampshire is considered lean blue, with Harris holding a 6.7 percent lead in recent polls. Meanwhile, Maine presents a more nuanced picture. While Harris leads by 17 points statewide, the second district, where Trump performed well in 2016 and 2020, continues to lean red. Maine's electoral votes are divided, making it a state where both campaigns are paying close attention. In the Southeast, Trump maintains strong support across many states. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama are all solidly red, with Trump leading by comfortable margins. In Tennessee, Trump leads by 26 points, and similar double-digit leads are expected in Kentucky and West Virginia. These states are key to Trump's solid Republican base. However, South Carolina offers a more competitive race than expected. The only poll conducted between Harris and Trump shows Trump leading by 10 points, a narrower margin than usual for this deeply red state. This suggests that Harris may be making inroads even in traditionally conservative strongholds. In North Carolina, Trump has a narrow lead of less than 1 percent, keeping the state classified as a tilt Republican. Harris faces a significant challenge here, as Democrats have only won North Carolina once since 1976. But she remains committed to flipping the state. Georgia, with its 16 electoral votes, is another critical battleground. Trump leads by an average of 1 percent, making it a true toss-up. Recent polls have shown the race tied, further complicating the overall trend. If Trump wins Georgia, it strengthens his path to victory, especially if he can also win Arizona. Georgia is currently classified as tilt red. Florida has shifted into the Republican column in recent years, with Trump winning the state by three points in 2020 and Governor Ron DeSantis winning re-election by 20 points in 2022. Trump currently leads by just under five points, placing Florida in the lean red category. However, Harris has been performing better than Biden here, leaving room for potential shifts as Election Day approaches. Now, we turn to the final two states, Virginia and Pennsylvania. Virginia has been a stronghold for Democrats in recent cycles, and Harris currently holds an eight-point lead. With the state's history of supporting Democrats in recent elections and her current lead, Virginia is firmly in the lean blue category. It is no longer considered a battleground, though Republicans will still attempt to make gains. Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral votes, is one of the most crucial states in this election. Harris leads by 0.7 percent, but this is far from a secure lead. If Trump wins Pennsylvania, it could dramatically alter Harris's path to victory, even if she wins states like Arizona and Nevada. Pennsylvania remains classified as a blue tilt state for now, but it is one of the most closely watched races in the country. In conclusion, current projections show Kamala Harris leading the race for the 2024 presidency with strong momentum in key battleground states and continued gains in areas traditionally held by Republicans. However, with many states still tightly contested, Trump has a clear opportunity to reverse this momentum in the final weeks of the campaign. The battle for the presidency is far from over. Finally, let's briefly explain the map's colors. Safe states are those where a candidate is projected to win by 15 points or more. Likely states are those with a lead of 8 to 15 points. Lean states have a margin of 3 to 8 points, and tilt states represent the closest races with a margin of less than 3 points. 
These colors help us visualize the election landscape, providing a clearer picture of where the candidates stand and which states will be the focus in the final weeks. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the latest updates as we get closer to Election Day.